Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news that today we have. Hey yo, man, we got yo, we got Diddy responding to uh, Miss Misa Hilton, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember what she had said about how she trying to blame him for what the 28 year old did or 29 year old, whatever the hell the egg, egg, whatever. We gonna talk about that. All right, we got um, uh, what's going down with Gunner when they, when you play Gunner's music in the club? What happened there, man? Uh, we also got um, a wife and Lucci, man. What's going on with him, man? Um, uh, what else we got over here? A report concerning R. Kelly and. Jay Z, man, and what went down with those two, and um, we got 50 Cent accusing stars of lowballing him and giving him um, some real some pennies for each episode of Power again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content, and we mean that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta explain to you why during the shoutouts, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause your boy need a little bit of assistance. Check this out, though, man. We reported to you the other day, right, man. Woo! Let me get the sun off my head. We reported to you the other day, right, that uh, Justin Combs was arrested for a DUI in L.A., man. And the 29-year-old's moms came out the cut, talk about his puffs for man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was looking like, uh, you just go completely overlook the fact that there's a grown behind man that can make his own decisions. Look, look. Um, Misa Hilton went off on Puff. Talk about, oh, you're the reason my son made his own mind to drive under the influence and get pulled over by the police and arrested. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go for it though, man. My mom's, my mom's be doing that too. She just did the same thing. Anything bad I do is the people around me that made me do it. Like I'm a, like I'm aimlessly wandering through life. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm an ant or something. Anyway, um, uh, your boy Diddy, Puff Love, whatever, Puffy, whatever his name is, right? Had this response. Take a look. Um everybody you know sometimes you have to say everybody it's all right look at friday let's go he's saying what he's saying and he not know the whole time you know what i'm saying look look he added the post this is what he added he said i love you queen stay in the light close quote yo that i i just read it you know when people read text they just read it where their mind is and where their heart is I just read that. He's oh, stay in the light. That's a nice thing to say. He's trying to be like, yo, it's all love. Stay in the light. A lot of people read that text like, that's a threat. That's a threat. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Remember, um, look, that statement reminds me of the last line of a statement from this classic uh, television series. Take a listen to this joint. Take a listen to the last line in particular. But take a listen to what, what, the, what was said. The dark side is all. Until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. The way he said, hopefully it played. The way he said, try to enjoy the daylight. Give me the same type of, that give a lot of people the same type of energy that Puff did when he said, stay in the light. Like a lot of people was like, what he really meant was stay in the light. Stay around people that can see you. Because if they can't see you. I'ma kill you. I said, damn, this how they read his quote? He said, just stay in the light. He said, love to your queen, stay in the light. They was like, yo, he's threatening to kill her, watch her. I said, damn, it's like that I in this world. Maybe I'm naive. I think that's the problem. I'm just too naive. I believe the best about people and I don't think these people are really actively trying to murder other people. Apparently, you know, a lot of people say I'm wrong. Anyway, um, YFN Lucci got um, uh, got to hit the courtroom for a murder charge and a RICO charge. YFN Lucci now. If I understand correctly, YFN Lucci is, um, I guess, the crew that was against... Um, uh, YFN Lucci is against, was against YSL. Like, they was against each other. You see what I'm saying? Um, and so YFN Lucci got hit with... Uh, Come on, man. Can you get it out, man? Can you do this, bro? Just give me a, just give me a chance. Let's just do it right. Do it live. I'm not going live. Listen, YFN Lucci got hit with a murder charge and a RICO charge. Ain't the, look, ain't the streets worth it? The man is looking at 20 years in Fulton County. Prosecutors have sat down and offered the man a plea deal. All right? And, and, and here's what's wild. They try to get him to testify against young thug young, oh, you guess, young, against young thug who is his op and Wyeth and Lucci refused to testify against his op ain't that interesting he refused to testify against his op and <laughs> well I was about to say something else but forget that listen Wyeth and Lucci has been offered a plea deal the plea deal offer has leaked the, the deal is instead of him doing 20 years 
they would give him 17. You like what the you like that don't make no difference. Let, let, let me just explain something to you, okay? I know that don't sound like a huge difference, but I mean three years, that's like that's that's listen, three years is 1095 days, right? That's 26,280 hours. You know what I'm saying? That's 1,576,800 minutes, man. Which happens to be 94,608,000 seconds. That's a huge difference. Ain't it? Like, that's a huge difference. I don't know why you're making like, like. Anyway, look, by now, you probably heard, consider, you know, because we're talking about YSL, YFN. Listen, you probably heard by now that in Atlanta, they tried to play Gunner's music in the club, and the club went silent. <laughs> it was like asking a room full of whatchamacallits, what is a woman? It, it, it was absolute silence. Now, um, people on Twitter are wondering. They're like, yo, uh, why would you not turn up for Gunner, who you're accusing of snitching, and turn up for R. Kelly, who's a convicted child trafficker? <laughs> Take a look at what the club looked like when Gunner played in the club. Take a look. Oh, y'all not, look, y'all not feeling the snitch? <laughs> but y'all feeling the criminal who birthed the snitch. Y you see how the streets are slow as hell? And then they'll look at you like, oh, like you the problem. Like, oh, well, you just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just don't see it. They just don't see it. No, we don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, it's difficult to see stupidity because then it's like you got to get into the mind of the fool. Uh, uh, let me do my shout outs real quick. Uh, um, listen. Uh, and then we're going to get back to um, R. Kelly because there's another piece of information that you need to, to uh, know about. Listen, though, I want, I want to throw this out here. I want to give a shout out to um, a couple of different people. I, um, I, um, well, well, I haven't seen Queen Mo Fire in a minute. I want to definitely give a shout out to Queen Mo Fire. I love her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love you, Queen. Um, who else I want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to uh, who else we got over here? We got uh, Corleone seventy five. My man said, "Yo, my yo, my thumbs up came right as DMX son hit that Rough Riders anthem." And then here come Khalees getting her check and a different smile hit my face. <laughs> yo, shout out to you, Corleone. Real talk, man. I love you, man. Uh, Echo so big said, "Yo, I guess women got so much um, fight like they get because Eve ate the the fruit first. So hence the reason women get all that combat." Um, kind of, sort of. Uh, act so big. This is what I believe, right? I don't think it's that the women ate the fruit, but that a woman would bring forth the Messiah, who would be responsible for crushing the head of the serpent or the or Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman, a virgin woman, was gonna be the one to birth the Messiah. That's why he hates women. You know what I'm saying? The 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 Satan. Um, let me see. Where where am I at over here? Uh, all right, look, 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 I'm gonna stop the shout out right there because I got I got to make an announcement. I got to make an announcement. All right, it has come to my attention. All right, um, and, and this is real talk, man. I, I'm, I'm not playing. It has come to my attention, right, that your boy Celeb was shadow banned. Um, not fully shadow banned. It's like a partial shadow ban. You understand what I'm saying? Apparently, someone may have reported the channel or something like that. So YouTube does not push our videos. Out into the algorithm because we experienced a sort of soft shadow ban. So here's what we're gonna need you to do. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh my gosh, you go ask us for money. Relax. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for money. But here's what we will ask. We will ask for you to take this moment to hit the like button. Take the um take this moment to um, maybe say something in the in the comment section, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what's a, what's a good emoji you could put up in there, man? Um, put the crying tear emoji. Put the put the crying tear emoji. Put the crying emoji. You know what I'm saying? Cause your boy's a little crying right now. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, but but real talk though. Uh, we're gonna need you to hit the like button. We're gonna need you to um, hit the subscribe if you ain't subscribed, of course, and uh, hit the um, and, and put something in the emoji so they can see some activity, man. You know what I mean? So that they can see some engagement, and that could potentially lift us off of that partial shadow ban. I'm just letting you know that's what I, um, I was told that we may need to do. In other words, us being an algorithm is largely dependent on your activity. You know what I'm saying? With the video. So, you know what I mean? A lot of y'all watch every night and we do appreciate y'all for that. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, like, um, 
uh, share if, if you think is worthy of sharing uh, like if you think it's worthy of a like and um, comment man comment give me that give me look show me your favorite emoji now, don't give me the crying emoji show me your favorite emoji mine is the tear with the smile is that mine I think that's one of mine you know what I'm saying I have another no 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 I, I'm gonna put my my can y'all guess what my favorite emoji might be I, I got one emoji that I love you know what I'm saying it's not, it's not the it's not the one I just said either. I haven't said it yet. Anyway, uh, put that in the comment section. Help get your boy um get, help get celeb sauce off of the soft shadow band. You know what I'm saying? With some engagement. Uh, all right, let's wrap this bad boy up, man. And look, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make this announcement a couple more times, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, last week we was just talking about we was talking about Gunna. Okay. Apparently, Gunna has posted some new music <laughs> on IG. Okay. Um, he's riding around bumping some of his new music in the whole nine yards. No jumper said, "What y'all think about this, man?" <laughs> This is what folks have been saying, okay, in the comments, a no jumper. One person said, all I hear is a mouse squeaking. I said, damn. Another person said, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why I feel like his flow changed. Somebody else said, whatever he's singing about, we all know he lying. <laughs> and another person said, we ain't cuffing with dude. I said, damn, man, you know what I'm saying? They giving him a hard time. Look, they giving him the business, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, but but never mind all that gunner stuff. And um, the last thing I told you about was R. Kelly <laughs> trending because of the gunner thing. And everybody was like, why would you bump R. Kelly and not bump gunner? But but look, remember back in the days when J uh, Jay-Z and R. Kelly had that Best of Both Worlds song that was supposed to come out? I mean, um, I think it was like an album or something like that. And they had that song. I can't seem to find the song anymore. But the song was like, get this money. You got what I want. I got tied up teens. Let's put it together. Get this money. Remember that? <laughs> look, I can't find that song nowhere, man. I, I look and I look. I hear some kind of fake me out version. I'm like, I think Jay-Z scrubbed the song. Because the song was, was crazy. Anyway, my bad. Jay-Z and R. Kelly went on tour together. I don't know if y'all remember that. I remember walking around J Jamaica Avenue and hearing about it, but then they had to cut the joint joint short because R. Kelly kept saying he saw shadow figures pointing guns at him in the damn concert. I was like, I thought you couldn't barely see the crowd. And he was damn near running off stage. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, how did I even know that? And I ain't had Instagram at that time. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it weird how all the information you got? How the hell you know, um, how the hell you know the Boogie Down Productions ran up on PS PM Dawn and you ain't had Instagram? Anyway, uh, Shout out to um, BDP. Uh, shout out to KRS. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh man. I'm going to show you something that somebody sent me uh, uh, tomorrow. Um, it was hot. It was hot to death. And I appreciate you. I forgot who sent it to me, but I'm going to give you a shout out tomorrow. Check this out, though. Um, it's being stated that R. Kelly thought Jay-Z was trying to kill him. Ronnie Bowe, who served time with R. Kelly, stated this. He said, R. Kelly felt like Jay-Z was kind of insecure because at that time, R. Kelly was technically bigger than him. Yeah, R. Kelly was huge. R. Kelly was huge. Um, look, remember when he went to Africa and he sang that song, If You Got Your Passport? Did you take your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? It was incredible. I was like, oh my, this is a good song. Anyway, my bad. He said, R. Kelly felt like during one of the shows when they was in Madison Square Garden prior to that event, he said days before the event that he was getting death threats that he felt was coming from Jay-Z. Like Jay-Z was trying to basically, you know, I don't know if this is going to sound outrageous, but he felt like Jay-Z was trying to get him murked for whatever reason. Close quote. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's like two people that said that. Because remember, remember when Ye said this? He was just playing. He was just playing when he said he didn't really mean it. You know what I'm saying? He's just playing. He's he's essentially saying, "Call me, call me." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And finally, wrap this up for the weekend, man. Let's wrap this up for the weekend, man. Um, uh, here's something I didn't expect to hear. Can you believe that the Stars Network only paid 17 k per episode for Power Men? Fifty Cent stated this. He said, 
Every two years, it felt like we was auditioning for a major carrier. It's time to renegotiate, and it would be an issue. So for me at that point, really what it is, is racism. Because the project is a success. But the platforms are not necessarily acknowledging things that have diversity connected to them. I'm outperforming a lot of the shows that they had in the award show ceremony. And they're not putting the work in the award show. Even to watch it lose. I said, 50 always be talking like in a way that I just like, I'd be like, yo, this dude is kind of smart. I, yo, I got a video. I got a 50 cent video coming out. Ready? I'm, I'm low. We're going to ready up a, a 50 cent video for y'all. Um, but, but he goes, there's no one that could come and tell me to take 17,000 to act and executive produce and make music. I gave them the theme song for power. I gave them the things that connected, hopefully, in a different way for it. You see what I'm saying? All those things for 17,000 per episode, I get paid more to go to a nightclub and wave. I said, uh, close, I said, damn, that's crazy. Listen, man, I'd have been to the waving. You know what I'm saying? But look, 50 Cent is a creative, man. He don't want to just wave. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, you know what I mean? He ain't on a princess on a float. You know what I'm saying? He's a creative. He wants to create. You know what I'm saying? He want to create art to entertain the masses from the insanity that is Earth. You know what I'm saying? They got eight foot aliens standing with their friends in people's backyards, according to CNN. Please distract us for a moment with another episode of Power, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> That's what they said. They said eight foot alien. They said an eight foot alien stood <laughs> and another one was standing there looking at the dude through the window like... Uh, we wait. We look. He under the hood. He working under the hood right now. I said, "Damn, <laughs> the aliens crashing." They, 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 they. Look, don't. If they fall in the hood, we taking the pieces and we selling them. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't fall. Don't fall where some of us live now. <laughs> People be robbing the aliens like that, taking them, taking them for their clothes. Shoot. Anyway, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Yo, man, um, and we mean that. You know what I'm saying? Help, 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 help your boy out, man. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.